is seeing new lights everywhere. We're talking about different varieties of flowers that are blooming. And of course, the landscape finally gradually starting starting to turn green instead of brown. I know. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. So soon we'll be pulling out our lawnmowers and maintaining our lawn, planting flowers. But if you want to keep your green space in tip-top shape, you might want to think about doing even more. Like feeding your lawn, giving it extra maintenance, and you know what? Why not let someone else do all the work like a lawn doctor? Take a look. outside our home and businesses. So we are here with the Lawn Doctor and Kendall. So tell us a little bit about the Lawn Doctor. Well, Rachel, we, we make lawns green, thick, weed free and healthy. We're family owned and operated. We've been in business for 17 years here in Grand Rapids and we have the greenest thumbs in the city. <laughs> and now is the time of year we really want to be thinking about that because we have so much ahead of us. Of course, it's spring. Absolutely. Things are coming quickly. Things are green enough. Your lawn needs to be properly fed to be green, thick, weed free and healthy and we can help with that. Yeah, you have a number of things that you do when you come in. Can you elaborate on what some of those are? Well, our, our, our three main things are lawn fertilizing, mosquito control, and power seeding. It's, it's many, many things that your lawn needs to be healthy. And then once your lawn's healthy and green, we'll come slay your mosquitoes for you, too. So that fertilizing, that happens in the springtime. What yep. do you do? Okay, so we do six applications. Two in the spring, two in the summer, and two in the fall. Each treatment's balanced to keep your lawn properly fed. And then we spray the weeds in the lawn, too. All the products are actually kid pet friendly as well. Wow. Yeah, when you think about mosquitoes, of course, uh, that can be kind of pesky because right. we are just anxious to get outside. Absolutely. We live in Michigan, but that can be a deterrent. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Rachel, when was the last time you were bit by a mosquito? Right. Well, not too long ago. Right, exactly. <laughs> so we can help with that. It's all kid and pet friendly. It's very effective and we guarantee it too. Yeah, well, it's always nice to have someone else doing that work. And you have some awesome equipment that allows you to kind of get the job done. We absolutely do. It's actually patented equipment, and uh, it's the best equipment in the industry. No matter how fast or slow the machine's going, your lawn's getting the proper way of fertilizer. All right, well, let's go check it out. Okay, Kendall, you have to tell us about the turf. The well, turf Rachel, this is the tamer. greatest machine ever created. The greatest the green machine green ever created. It keeps lawns green, and it also sprays the weeds on every treatment. Yeah, so this is like the fertilizer master. Oh, here. this is the best machine ever produced for making lawns green. Ever produced on planet Earth. So the best piece of iron ever to touch grass this since the lawn mower. Seeder. So unlike hydro seed where they spray it on top, this actually puts the seed into the soil where nine out of every ten seeds... Nine out of ten, probably more, but so definitely nine out of ten. The so we put this seed into the turf, and we see nine out of every ten seeds. You guarantee the turf? Guarantee. Really guarantee if there's ever anything that needs to be touched up, overturn it, no charge on us, and touch up those areas. Well, that's really cool. That's cool. Touch okay, so one more thing that we want to show up with you guys. And, and this is the mosquito slaying machine right here. We spray this on all the ornamental trees and shrubs around the home to control the mosquitoes, oh, and it creates a force field around your property. It's fleas, ticks, spiders, ants, and they'll see them. It's all kid, pet, and adult friendly. Of course, that's Lovely. very nice. Well, I know that in the years that your family is on the lawn doctor, you've been able to make and see a lot of transformations so many. before and after on yeah. um, area lawns and green spaces. You know, I've been, I, I've been doing this since I was eight years old with my dad, and we've, we've had some pretty amazing transformations happen, and it's just amazing to see the business grow. We take care of the Gerald R. Ford International Airport. The city of Grand Rapids, firehouses, and all the city properties. Um, and, and, we've, and now, you know, thousands of homeowners here in Kent County. And I, I really enjoy taking a lawn from one point and then totally transforming it throughout yeah. the year. So if, uh, if you've ever considered not doing it yourself or trying out a company, I'd love just one season to show the residents of just the one. What we can do. Just one That's season. Fantastic. And I know that you're very passionate about that. Yeah, absolutely. Because you have a web show every Friday. Every Friday, every Friday, every Friday, every Friday. Every Friday. Bring the best of your lawn. The best, the greatest. Your home to you live on Facebook, where we shoot from our offices here at 36. Lawn Doctor Headquarters. Lawn Doctor Live, we interview local business owners and personalities here in town. And we let homeowners know what they can do to improve the value and aesthetic. 
Six times, two in the spring, two in the summer, and two in the fall. And the power seating. That's right. My husband priced it out one time, and he said, you almost can't buy the product and do it yourself for what this business charges. So, again, it just gives you an idea of the value that you're getting. If you're interested, you can call the lawn doctor for an instant quote. Hey, right instant the quote the over the phone. 60 and seconds. If you are going to say that you are an eight west Break the phone. for you a special deal. Special. Right. Right. Broken control application. When you sign up for lawn fertilizing, that's the package, of course, so you can learn more by heading to lawn doctors. Grand Rapids. Lawn Dr. Grand The word for you. Exactly. Just sit back and enjoy the green. Turn green with envy, right? That's right. And stay right there. We'll be right back with more of All right, folks. You heard it best right there. Welcome to Lawn Doctor Live, where every Friday we bring you the best of your lawn, your landscape, green, thick, weed free lawn, thick. Lush turf. I want you to make lawn angels this year. I want you to kick off your shoes when you get home from work. Kick off the shoes, crack open a beer, and go do lawn angels in the lawn because your lawn is so green, thick, weed-free, and healthy. It was just an awesome, awesome week so far. The topic of the show today in relation to what happened this week is how to spotlight your outdoors. How do you shine the light on something that you've been working so hard for? You know what they say about a first appearance, right? You can never get it back. What does your lawn look like when somebody drives up to your house? What does your home look like when somebody drives up? They don't have to walk inside, but what does your outdoors say about you and who you are and what you're all about? Is it saying, you know what, it looks great, it looks clean, it, it matches my personality, or is it, you know, is it a little rough? You know, does it need some work? Well, we can help. I know many, many people that can help, and today on the show... I'm here with the master of uh, the master of the fertilizer and the slayer of the weeds, my brother Jordan Hines. We got John Huff in the house and it, on, on the controller here. We got Papa Mike here over on the couch. He's uh, he's in the studio and we got the the Christies on the phones in the office here working the phones. Man, what a week! What a week, Jordan! What what would you say about this week if you if you had one word to sum up this week in our business? I'd call it crazy, dude. It was so crazy. I mean, it was just absolutely insane. It was nonstop, insane. Nonstop. nonstop. I mean, I mean, let's 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 first let's talk about this Eight West thing, dude. This is something I've been wanting to do ever since we've gotten in business. Was be on Eight West. And, um, you know, now we're at a spot in our business where, you know what, it makes sense to do something like this. And they came out, uh, Rachel and Madeline, mm -hmm. and wonderful experience. We had so much fun doing it. It was, it was, it was part of, you know, our whole team was, was part of it. Um, first, before we get, we get any further, we, we're forgetting one crucial thing. Please like and share the stream. We would really appreciate it if you could like and share the stream out to your friends and, and network. Um, but this this week has just been so fun. We had Rachel yep. Ruiz come out, fellow East Kentwood grad. Shout out East Kentwood, all my shout East out. Kentwood family, right? Um, and student council as well. Uh, we had Rachel Ruiz come out with Madeline, and uh, they did a great job on our first eight awesome. West spot. As as you can see, you can see it on our job. Facebook page. You can see it on YouTube. You can see it even if you don't want to, because I'm paying to get it in front of your face on Facebook. So you'll probably see it either way. But either way, either it's way. a great ad. It was worth every penny of that we spent. And it was a great profile of a great local business, my family's business, Lawn Doctor. And 
It's just been a great week so far. It's Jordan. What was? What have you been doing all week? Well, I've been uh, taking calls, running estimates, stuff like that. Just getting. Uh, we took apart two engines as well this week, so we've been doing a lot to get ready to get on the lawns and make them green, thick, and weed free for the year. Yep. Yeah, I mean, when you say get to get to put the engines together, what are you talking about? Like um, we literally had to take a couple yeah, engines out we had of to our take equipment two, to get it. Two engines out. And got two brand new ones, and uh, that's not an easy process. So not easy, folks. We got that done. John, how did those engine swaps go? Was that, was that pretty easy? What did you think of that? It wasn't too bad. Um, it's just uh, you know, a matter of you know taking it one step at a time and just uh, yeah, making sure you do it correctly and get it done right the first time so you ain't got to you know, waste a bunch of extra time next week. We really got to get out on those lawns. So. Right, right. Well, what was the hardest part of taking those engines out, would you say? Is it just, um, like, just uh, really tight areas, you know, really? trying to get your hands in the areas, you know, to get bolts loose and stuff like that where, you know, you got to find the right extensions, the right sockets. And dude, come say, come say hi, dude. We got, we got, uh, we hey. got 10 people on the stream. If you're watching Ten the people. stream, wow. please like, and, like share. and share. We got John Huff in the house. He got hi, John, we got John Huff in the house. Say hi, everybody. This is John Huff, one of our newest technicians and sales professionals. Who was on 8 West did a great job. He's been working on our equipment so far this year with my dad, and they are pretty pooped because uh, you know what? It takes a lot of work to take those engines out and get it ready mm -hmm. to go out on the lawns and make them green, thick, weed free, and healthy. So, really appreciate you, st you stopping in here, John. Heck yeah, man, of course. Are you pumped for the season or what? Oh, and we're, so we're so close to getting out there so and, so and, and, and dying. And when we do, we will be doing live Lawn Doctor Lives from the lawns out there. And it will be a beautiful time. So if you're just joining the stream, please like and share the stream. John would appreciate it. Mike would appreciate it. Jordan would appreciate it. Yeah, we, I would. Our dogs would appreciate it, right? Mm -hmm. your, your dogs would appreciate it. So today on the show, we are talking about, uh, let's see here. We're talking about how to spotlight your outdoors, right? So when people pull up to your house, what does your outdoors say about you? Does it say, you know what? My, my lawn and landscape looks beautiful or does it say and I have my life together or does it say you know what we need to work on this a little we bit need to work on it, yeah. you, I mean what does it say about you so today on the show we're going to talk about how to do that and probably when I sat down to, to think of the topic of the show today the number one thing I'd say was beyond your lawn being nice and your landscaping being nice would be what is your like the siding and the paint right mm -hmm. is, is the paint all chipped off and, and jagged or, or do you have a nice paint finishing on your house to give a good first impression um, and it all works together right so the paint is going to complement the lawn and the lawn's going to complement the landscaping thanks for stopping in John oh, man. if you guys have any questions for John reach out to him directly uh, at well, you're on Instagram right no, nope, just Facebook. Just Facebook. John just Huff, J O H N H O U, John H. Huff. How? 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 John How? John How? John How? John How? Not H O W H O U G H. H -O -U -G -H. John H. How. Check him out. Check him out. Great guy. He's got a nice little cute pooch. What's the dog's name? Uh, Gandalf the White. Gandalf <laughs> the White, the Wolf. We gotta get him here in the office here soon. Just have him bring your dog to work, Dad. I kind of like the idea of that. Got to see about getting the dog, though, you, you know? So, okay, so so siding on houses, always important, right? Paint on the side of the houses complements the grass. Mm -hmm. Make sure you got the make sure you got the, um, the paint figured out, right? And spring's a great time to do that. It, by the way, if you need any recommendations, I'm in a local networking group. I work with a lot of local businesses that do a lot of these services. And with us, you know, they're very, very vetted. They've been in business a long time, and they have great reviews. I can hook you up with them, and they tend to, you know what, give all the people I refer great pricing and even better service. So what more could you ask for that? So siding your house, you know, what does the house look like? That brings up, you don't have to get new siding or just repaint your siding, right? What do you do if it's dirty, right? I've seen houses. Clean it up. Dude, have you ever seen... Have you ever seen on a lawn when you're doing the house and you see like algae and stuff? Oh in the yeah, house? tons of it. It's what? green. It's running down the whole house. It I just mean, looks bad. It's, it's green, kind of thick, and weed free in all the wrong places. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude. So what do you do with that? Well, we have a great program set up with our friend Scott Van Dyke with Under Pressure Steam and Clean. Give him a call, folks. Under Pressure yeah. Steam and Clean. 
they do a great job and at such an affordable price. Great local business. They actually patented this cool um, technology where most pressure washer companies, they just use like uh, your, your own hose water. But they actually bring their water to you. It's heated water, so it's very effective. They don't have to use chemicals, and it's very guaranteeable too. It's beautiful results, and they work on our trucks out here. It works out really, really well. So, you know, even even if you don't need to get buy new siding or paint, you know, mm -hmm. you can have Scott and his boys come out with under pressure steam and clean, and uh, give you uh, brand new siding, like new, right? They're gonna they're gonna get all that old nasty grime off. Um, and, and, and get it ready. So what's the second thing you do to, you know, shine the light on your outdoor spaces? Uh, Jay, what does that say, number two? Bark in the beds. Wait, you want, you want me to bark like a dog on the bed? What? No, by bark we mean uh, wood chips, mulch, stuff like that, rocks, uh, pebbles, whatever looks good, whatever you think looks good, or whatever the landscape professional would uh, think looks good. Right. So, so you think of every spring, you, you see people putting new mulch in the beds. It's a great way to, number one, not only increase the water retention around the, your plants and have to do less watering, but it also provides a great space and aesthetic value to the home because of the color involved with it. So it adds a great complement to that new clean siding. And it comes out really beautifully. Yeah. You know, and again, we have great recommendations for that. If you need a landscaper to bring you some mulch, we have the best in the business, the best pricing, mm -hmm. and can definitely hook you up with a bona fide expert in the space that can take care of you. So sure mulch can. in the beds, very important. If you don't have a plan in place for that, we can help you with that, with the mulch in the beds, um, in addition to the siding and everything mm -hmm. like that. So bark in the beds. But what's the third number one thing you could do? to make sure you shine the light on your house, right? You saved, this, the house is probably one of the biggest investments for most people, right? They work their whole lives to get this deal. And then when they get it, what is it saying to represent you and who you are, right? So what are you doing to shine the light, shine the spotlight, shine the spotlight on yourselves? You know, how do you do that? Well, Jay, what's the number one thing that's, it's a statement piece. It's the Mercedes Benz, right? It's the Beamer, right? In the garage, it's a statement piece. What's the number one thing that doesn't cost five, uh, fifty thousand dollars that they can do to make sure that they shine the light on their property and their number one investment besides their children? You know, <laughs> it's the lawn. Plain and simple, dude. The lawn. It's what the it's lawn. all about, right? I've never in my I've never in my 16, 17 years of being in this business heard somebody say, you know what, I want an ugly lawn, right? Never. It's a green, thick, weed-free lawn. It goes almost hand-in-hand hand like baseball and beer in a hot summer day, right? It, nobody wants a nasty old weedy lawn. And I guarantee you, when people pull up to your house, your lawn... Just like your car is probably a big indicator of where things are at. Do you have weeds all tattered through your lawn? Or is it manicured and nice and weed free and green and thick? Well, you know what? It's gonna it's it, it, it says a lot about you. And and if you're watching the stream, please like and share the stream. We are taking questions live in the comments. We are watching live in the comments here. So if, if you have any questions for me or Jordan or John or Mike or Christy or Matt or Andrew or anybody yeah. else Drop a comment below. Drop a comment. We love some, we love some positive feedback, so that's always good. So, a lawn is very important. What what are some things that you're seeing um, and talking to customers about? Like even today, you know, what are some big issues that people are coming uh, up with? Some of the biggest issues right now is uh, there's a lot of thin, <coughs> thin and bare spots throughout the lawns due to the snow mold, or you know, them not cleaning up the leaves and or the plows tearing up the lawn. Basically, a lot of that going on. Oh, dude, I am noticing so much of that right now. The plow damage, right? Yep. They hired a plow company. The plow driver's probably drinking a six-pack while he's doing the driveway. <laughs> and next thing you know, half your lawn's torn out because they ripped out the... Because uh, <laughs> they ripped out the grass. Um, and, uh, you know, how do you fix that, right? You, you, you got to get some topsoil. 
you got to get some new seed in there, and we can mm -hmm. help you with the seeding part and the, the soil part. So mm -hmm. if you have plow damage, we can hook you up. You know what I'm noticing a lot of, and this is probably, as soon as I say this, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about, is um, mold damage. I don't know oh, yeah. what it is. But moles are just insane right now. The mole mounds. You'll see it out there. The mounds of dirt, right? The moles. How do you fix that, right? Well, guess what? The number one food source for moles is earthworms. So don't let anybody try to fool you and say grub control is going to fix it. It may help, right? It may help if there's an abundance of grubs in your lawn. Hey, it's like a dessert buffet. I'm sure, you know what, if there was some big juicy grubs in the lawn... You were a mole. You would you would go after it, okay? <laughs> you would you would go all in. Mm -hmm. So taking care of the grubs ain't ain't a bad idea. But they're definitely after the earthworms. So how do you fix the mole issues? What do we what do we recommend for moles, Jay? We recommend uh, uh, beyond uh, grub control, of course. On uh, what well, we work with uh, the best uh, mole guy in uh, Kent County, uh, Mighty Exterminating. What's his name? Mighty uh, Josh Getting yeah. with Mighty Exterminating. If you need a, his number, we will refer you over to me a special lawn doctor pricing and can get you the... See, you want an expert with this space. You you know, you don't want somebody just dropping worms in the tunnels and this and that. Listen, you want somebody to come set traps, get the machete sword, and start chopping these moles in half and racking and stacking them, packing them, baby, because you don't want them coming back. Mm -mm. And you got to kill them. It was funny. I had somebody... I tell, he's like, hey, my wife's against killing the moles. And I said, dude... That's the first time I ever heard that. Seventeen years, I never heard that before. But so, so he said, "Dude, just lay on the grub control as thick as you can and see if that works." So I guess we'll see if that that works out. But so we're seeing a lot of mole damage. We're seeing, um, uh, let's see, what, what you you say you're seeing a lot of bare spots, right? Yeah, bare spots in the lawn. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you went on an estimate today. What what was the issue at, at their lawn? Uh, it was a little bit, it was a lot of bare spots due to a maple tree, uh, so so, a lot of sunlight. Most people think it could be uh, the acidity from the trees and stuff like that, and we can also solve that problem too. We actually, uh, we'll come and uh, take a soil sample for you. Get Ooh, the, that's cool. And we'll send that in and look at the pH and nutrients and stuff like that of the soil. Get an idea of what we're working with, and then we'll power seed that as well. Um, and then another problem actually is uh, we're getting a lot of uh, people are complaining they're, they're starting to see ants in the house. The ants are coming over. Really? Around. Already? Uh, already? Two people have told me that they've seen ants in the house. Really? Yeah. I have not heard that yet. That is really surprising. In the house though. So. But how do, we, how do we help people limit their insect risk on their properties? Well, we actually offer two different services, yard arm and mosquito control or perimeter pest control. Okay. And uh, what those will do is those will keep the fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, spiders, bugs, ants, anything really, uh, away from your house, out of your yard, out of your house, so you don't have to ever see those or worry about those. Oh my gosh. I, I've heard just absolute amazing stories from customers. Um, They've always been having uh, issues with earwigs or ants or stuff, you know, in the summer. And we come out, we spray the foundation of the house. To, it creates a force field barrier from insects getting in, in the home. And if you want to just bundle that with our yard arm and mosquito control, you're going to have the most insect-free green space in Kent County mm -hmm. and definitely West Michigan. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is just night and day difference. We use it at our cottage up north. It's very effective, very safe for the wildlife um, and in many cases it's very non-toxic as well so we really love that product and many of our customers do too it's a simple no-brainer add-on right we send it out with our proposals with each fertilizing proposal we send you out a proposal right and there's always a little box down here to add mosquito control to your program and with that we see a lot of check boxes come back for that yard armor mosquito control because how valuable would that be if you didn't have to spray your kids with that nasty DEET, right? We all know DEET some nasty stuff. And I tell you what, I spray that stuff on my skin. I start, you know, shaking a little bit because of all the chemicals getting in me. Oh, yeah, and it's just not the kids, too. It's the dogs from the heartworm from mosquitoes. Oh, totally. Mine. I did not know that. Like, okay, you think about the tick control, like these Six. vaccinations. The same vaccinations that we like spray on the lawn, they're actually putting inside of your pet. That can't be very good. 
Okay, that it's a, they're putting pesticides in your dog's bloodstream. So if you like your pet, I, I wouldn't be doing the old uh, what's it called? Can I get some help on that? Is it is it? It's not the heartworm. It's the um, it's like a tick guard that you can get at the vet, and they're putting that in your dog's bloodstream. Okay, that can't be good. I'm no vet, vet, but I can I can promise you if I had a dog, I wouldn't be pumping it with pesticides. I'd be you know spraying. Um, the wood lines down and around the home to control mm -hmm. the fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, spiders, ants, no seams. Very natural, non-toxic, safe for pets, kids, yep. and, adults. and adults. That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> but I'm just biased. You know, I've been doing it my whole life. been using these products my whole life, and I love it. I wouldn't do anything else, and that's why we guarantee it. So, we've... How, I mean, beyond... Okay, so... You got beautiful siding, you got green thick weed for your grass, you got nice bark in the beds, you got nice landscaping, you might have a nice little water feature going on, right? And you know what? You're sitting out there with your, your party of eight, you know, maybe four or five couples out there around the fire, and, you know, Cindy looks to Todd and she says, Wow, there's no mosquitoes out. I was getting bit up last night. Oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah, well, the lawn doctor takes care of my mosquito control for me. What? That exists, right? For less than a can of Coke a day, you can get mosquito-free lawn. That's beautiful. Wow. I mean, who wouldn't appreciate that, right? So, how do you shine the spotlight on your outdoors? Well, it's those many things. It's, it's having nice siding, right? Getting it pressure washed, right? You gotta, just like you wash the carpets, you got to wash the side of your house. Bark in the beds, green thick, weed free grass, and once it's green and thick and weed free, and and, and you can do little lawn angels out there, right, and little pups McGee's rolling around in the, in in the turf. Um, well, you gotta cut it. You gotta make it look beautiful. You gotta put that checkerboard pattern in the lawn. You you gotta have it that lawn where somebody drives by and they're like, whoa. Dude, that looks sick. It looks like Comerica Park out there. Yeah. It's got the lines and whatnot. A lot more goes into mowing your lawn rather than just breaking out the old rusty mower and just going to cut the stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a reason why there's companies that mow lawns and there's companies that fertilize lawns like ours, right? There's We're clearly different than met, all of them, but the mowing companies... You know what they're doing each day or each week if they're a great company? They're sharpening their blades. They're rotating blades. They're cleaning the decks. They're, they, they take so much pride and joy in making sure their mowers are top-notch to provide the best cut ever on your lawn. And, and it really does a lot. Mowing the turf correctly really does a lot to help you get a green, thick, weed-free lawn. Because mm -hmm. think about a dull blade. What does it do? On your face, it tears, right? It doesn't cut. So you want to make sure your blades are sharp, right? And that you're actually cutting that turf rather than just ripping it. And when you rip a turf and your blades aren't sharp, it opens your, your lawn up to disease. That's how you get uh, dollar spot and all these different types of disease, you know, in late or early August when it starts to get humid. Mm -hmm. um, so mowing and manicuring your lawn is just as important. And I'll tell you what, nothing makes our service look better than a nicely mowed lawn with a nicely edged sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Dude, I just love the look of that. It's yeah. beautiful. There's just something about a nice defined edge with turf. And that's one thing I love about turf is you can make it look so cool however you want to. Checkerboard patterns and zigzags. And I mean, I remember when we were kids, we used to grab the lawnmower and mm -hmm. uh, we would mow a baseball diamond in the backyard, right? And um, you know, we create our own baseball fields mm -hmm. like in the turf with, uh, with like a home plate and baselines and stuff. And we have foul ball lines and, uh, you know, that's what it's all about, right? And, and you can't do that if you don't take time and you invest in your lawn and landscape. You're not going to have those memories mm -hmm. um, for your children. And that's one thing I really value too because I guess we take it for granted that, I mean, I grew up the son of a lawn doctor, right? And uh, we just had the best lawn on the block. Um, but if, if you don't have those skills, you don't have that knowledge, it's very inexpensive, very quick and painless to get on a program mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, and, yeah. and start that process. So those are just a few of the things that uh, 
that you can do to shine the spotlight on your lawn and landscape. Um, number one, siding the house, keeping it clean. If, again, if you're just joining the stream, please like and share the stream. Uh, uh, keeping the side of the house washed, right? Pressure wash at Scott Van Dyke, under pressure, steaming clean. Uh, keeping the bark in the beds nice and fresh, renewing it every season ideally. Um, whatever color you know looks best with your side in your house would look great. And then to tie that all off, a green thick weed free lawn, right? A green thick weed free lawn, and then making sure your turf's nice and manicured. That's how you. Mm -hmm. That's how you shine the light on your house. That's how you set your yourself apart from all your neighbors. Because guess what? 70% of your neighbors don't care and they don't do anything. So if you want to make your house really shine, really shine and put the spotlight on them, right? Get on TV, get out in front of people, make sure people know you and can see you and, um, and can see how nice your property looks. Well, we can help. We have many great people that can help you with that. We do get, Jay, do we get free estimates? We do get free estimates. How do, how do people uh, get, in, get in contact with us? Well, they can call, email, um... Pretty much anything, and we'll uh, give them an estimate, quote, 60 seconds. Uh, we can do it right over the computer for you. We don't even got to come out to the property, which uh, saves you time, saves us time. And um, then you can sign up right then and there, get that out of the way, not even have to worry about it for Take time out of the season. equation. Take There's nothing the worse to me than when I gave somebody a quote in December, and then they sit on it and sit on it and sit on it, and then we get to the second week of May, and they miss the crabgrass preventer. Um you know what? They're going to have problems with their lawn. Do it now. Take time out of the equation and do it now. Don't wait. Waiting time ensures nothing but the fact that you're not going to have the lawn you want this season. And there's only one reason why you want to do it, because that you don't think what we can do can actually help your lawn. I promise you it can. I've seen crazy results in my 17 years of doing this. And even, even... We're not usually, but even if we're two times more expensive, I can promise you we're eight times cheaper than any other product or service out there just from the simple fact that nobody can do what we do on your lawn, in your mm -hmm. landscape, and provides you with the great referral sources that we have here. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate everybody tuning into the show today. If you're re-watching the stream, thank you for stopping and watching. We really appreciate it. We appreciate all the love. We appreciate Wood TV 8 and 8 West and mm -hmm. Rachel and Madeline and um, all, all the people that made that, that possible. Yeah. We really appreciate it. I, I think as soon as we got done, uh, we broke the internet and the phone system. Like, the phones broke, oh, yeah. right? So our phone system broke down because there were so many calls. So, I mean, that's awesome. I love it. I love being a part of the community and doing that kind of thing and, and, and really just getting the good word out there. So... Hope you guys have a great weekend. Try not to get too wet. It's going to be cold and rainy. I saw snow in the forecast, but you didn't hear it from me. And uh, make sure you tune in next week to Lawn Doctor Live, where every Friday. Jordan, why do we do this show? Uh, we do this show to, you know, give uh, give value, give information, just give an insight to people that are maybe, you know, thinking about doing things to their lawn or just don't have a, a basic info of uh, lawn care, stuff like that. So we love helping out. We love giving people more knowledge about their lawn and their landscape. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Let this die. Hope to see you next week. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Lawn Dr. Live. Thanks, we'll see you in the spring.